Hello, and welcome to another uh, video for programming the Commodore 64. Uh, it's been a while since I've made one of these, so I thought it would be interesting. Uh, my last program or video was on making the Christmas candle, which was a fun little program. Um, this one, we're going to go and do something completely different. We're going to make a game. It will be a text-based game, nothing very graphical. But it's a, going to be a simple game, and hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. Uh, as usual, this is not a tutorial. You're going to see me make mistakes, see me get lost. You know, in, in general terms, it'll be a lot of fun of me making lots of mistakes. Uh, so anyway, first thing I'm going to do is let me see, project, add new item. And I'm going to do a new basic file. We'll call this one main. There we go. Uh, what? Before I even start programming, we're going to use Notepad over here and kind of describe what we're going to do, or what kind of program we're going to make or game. Uh, the let's say the objective. Let's do it this way. Uh, it will be navigate a 10 by whoops 10 by 10 quote dungeon <laughs> whoops I can't type today uh, and try to find the exit while avoiding traps and monsters good enough for me now what we're going to do is take and randomly generate this 10 by 10 dungeon and randomly throw traps and monsters in there. Uh, traps will have, we'll do a lava trap, which will be, actually let's do this, which equals instant death. Uh, we'll do spike trap, whoops, which is going to equal negative hit points. We will do poison trap. Whoops. This will equal negative hit points over time. I don't know how I'm going to do this stuff yet, so this is a learning process for me too. Um, and I think that'll be enough for our 10 by 10 dungeon. The monsters Orcs, trolls, and goblins. Or the horde from World of Warcraft, I suppose. Alright, variables. Uh, the first variable I'm going to have will be game over. So I'll just call geo equals game over. And it will either be a 1 or a 0. A 1 or a 0. And what game over will do, obviously, is uh, let the game know that we're done playing it and take us to whatever exit. So over here in the uh, IDE, let me do this 999 and ah. Uh, Let's see how we're going to do this. Let's do 5 RAM Dungeon Game by Daniel Beal. Sweet. Oops, I don't want to. Oh, auto, auto numbering. Cool. Now let's do GO. Whoops, GO. And it will equal whoops, 0. Now, let's see here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is have different screens. Like we'll have a title screen, we'll have a character generation screen, and uh, we'll have the gameplay screen and a game over screen for death or a game over screen for uh, success. Uh, which I guess makes sense to me. And uh, let's well, let's see here. 
this is going to be awesome because uh, when I do a project like this I'm not used to talking over it so might be some quiet spots I hope you don't mind uh, next variable um, boom. might need we'll do EX which will be an exit condition I guess which week will be will be either which will be a one or or a z or zero. An X condition is if if did we exit with a win or did we exit with a lose? Uh, the only way to exit with a win will be to find the uh, exit and, and you know and type exit. And the only way to well, and there are many ways to exit with a uh, loss, including dying. You know, falling, succumbing to a trap, or uh, one of the monsters. Oh, I was going to add another monster. Uh, let's Balrog, and he'll be not non-killable. So if you uh, if you run into this guy, he's going to kill you, and you you won't have a chance, I guess. Uh, okay, now since we're going to have a character, at least in a string, we'll equal name. And so let's do this in a string equals EX equals uh, zero is false, so. Actually, let's do this. EX equals negative one. So that way we don't accidentally trigger a death or a win, you know, prematurely. Prematurely. Now, let's see what we got here. We will need stats. ST equals strength. Uh, DX equals. Dexterity. Now I'm trying to think of uh, stats that we're actually going to use. I could throw intelligence and wisdom, but I don't know about casting spells or um, honestly, I don't even know about dexterity. Let's do uh, let's do stamina or constitution. We'll just do stamina, and that will, you know, how tough we are. And maybe we will do. Um, Let's do agility. AG equals agility. And maybe that will have something to do with um, uh, how well we're able, you know, a defensive bonus, you know, how well, we're able, how well we're able to block an attack or something. We'll need HP, which will equal hit points. Oops. We'll need AT, which equals attack, attack value. And DF, which will equal defense. Did I spell that right? Yeah, there we go. And uh, let's see. What we... And we'll need an inventory. Actually, no. Let's do this. Let's do G, which will equal gold. We'll collect gold. And uh, gold, I guess, will do nothing more than uh, modify your score and like. Maybe uh, traps can take a certain amount of gold, negative gold. Um, now, those are stats. So, what we need to do is f first, oh, uh, let's go back up here. We need to uh, state, create a state variable. And we'll just use the variable s for game state. So let's go ahead and do that one first. Um, I guess I better start putting these variables down here. Uh, S, whoops, S. I'm not going to try to capitalize all these. Okay, S, 
equal the first game state should be our uh, we'll let it equal one that'll be our, our title and so no, I want 100 on s go sub so there we go and uh, it'll go sub to we'll just say 1,000 2,000 3,000 and okay it would be title character creation gameplay 4,000 would be lose and 5,000 win so we can come down here. No, oh, 1,000. Auto number, you're screwing me up here. Uh, we'll just see. REM titles. Whoops. REM character creator. Whoops. REM gameplay. What's four thousand? REM lose and five thousand REM win. And I'm thinking I might want to have do you want to play again but I don't know how to or I don't know I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to implement it right now uh, until I get to more of the uh, uh, in more into the uh, the program so uh, s equals one which hopefully yeah one two three four one two three four five sorry so we're groovy here and let me start implementing these other uh, where are we are exits game state we have name st equal zero let's we'll go ahead and zero these out oops stamina and strength we can't have that let's have that sa sa equal zero by 5, 15. Oh, I can't use GO either. Game over. Let's use G. This kind of sucks about having uh, uh, only two letters for a variable name. AG hit points. Oops, equals, oops. Ah, where's my equal? There it is. Zero. AT equals zero. And DF equals equal. God dang it, equals zero. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not doing this on a real Commodore 64. Uh, G will equal equal to zero. And again, gold will just be a, some sort of mo modifier. I don't think we'll put a store in here. Maybe I can put a store in there. I don't know. We'll have to play that by ear. So, the first thing we need to do is display a title. And I've got to remember how to do that uh, go to the old help menu when in when in doubt go to the help and I think there should be I like beans uh, there should be a way tools um, reference okay There's a way to uh, memory map. Uh, 
that's not what we need. You know, memory maps are helpful. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, do 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 do. No. Extras. Oh, it's a puzzle. Using memory. All right, I'm gonna come back to clear screen. Uh, in the old days, I would have just did print quote heart, which I'm not sure where. Uh, that is on this keyboard, but it's there's a uh, pet ski. Let's go ahead and open Chrome. Let's go ahead and shut that off. Uh, clear screen C64. Print characters. Okay, 147 or shift control. Character screen. So 147. Zero five. One forty. Whoops. One forty seven. And actually, what I could do is other CL equal one forty. Whoops, forty seven. So I can just do um. There we go. CL equals 147. And that way I can just do this. Whoops. 147. And we'll save it. Now, if I ran this, no, I probably wouldn't do too much. I'd probably just go to line 1000 and then end. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, I want to open Win by 64. Uh, syntax error in 10. Let's go ahead and do this. Double the size. There we go. 10. G equals 0. And A equals nothing. ST, ST. So we can't use strength. Alright, that's cool. Let's just use SG. SG will be our strength. Oops. Now let's try it again. Build program run. Setting. Save settings on exit. Option double size. There we go. Yep. Now if we list. Ah, there's our program in all splendor and glory. Nice, of course. What I could do here is do return. I may or may not need to keep that and use my shortcut. All right. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now it's, uh, gosh, I don't even know how far we are into recording this thing. Um, I think I'm going to stop it there, and we will see what we can do. We'll get the, the, the goal for the next video will be getting the title screen stuff done. And then we'll have, we'll work on the other stuff after that. Anyway, I will see you later.